Hey, Healing Overflow family, this is Dr. Toy. Welcome back to Healing Overflow with Dr. Toy. Hey, if these videos have been really helping you, please like our Facebook page, Healing Overflow, or email me at drtoyjones at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Prof Toya Jones and like our our uh page <laughs> like our uh <laughs> like our WXCM power radio page and please just keep on watching and keep sharing um and let that healing overflow onto others today we're talking about a topic that a lot of folks aren't sure what it is but a lot of times they experience it and it's called seasonal affective disorder and so you know People are walking around and we're feeling sad and not quite knowing what that feeling is all about. It, listen, y'all, it's not just your brain. It's not just you feeling down. It's a real thing. And um, I want to explain a couple things, just take a couple minutes to explain it to you today. Um, sad is what we commonly call it. And it's about 5% of adults in the United States experience sad, at least 40% of the year. Now that's a long part of the year to just be feeling sad. It's common most amongst women um, than men and young people absolutely experience sad, even more so than older adults. So what's the symptoms, Dr. Toy? I knew you'd ask. Um, just because you have sad symptoms doesn't mean you actually have the diagnosis or the disorder. So keep that in mind. But the, the symptoms are like depressed symptoms, a low mood or sad mood, not wanting to do anything, not wanting to go out with your friends and, and enjoy the things that you usually like to do. You don't want to do it anymore. It's hard to get out of bed. Your appetite's all out of whack. And I mean, eating far more than you usually would, just hungry and eating all the time or just refusing to eat at all. And digestive issues. So, you know, your stomach is hurting or, you know, digestive issues. I don't need to get into it. Crying or feeling weepy, um, you know, just wanting to be by yourself and just sleeping. Lots of sleep or you're just, you know, irritable and it's hard for you to sleep. Anger comes through with sad as well. And it can get worse if it's not treated. And that can look like social withdrawal. That can look like substance abuse, um, you know, other mental disorders. So if you already have some mental diagnosis, it can make it worse, but it can cause anxiety, worsen your depression and, and you know, eating disorders as well. It can also cause suicidal thoughts and behaviors. And so we don't want this thing to go untreated, y'all. Well, what causes this, Dr. Toy? Thanks for asking. Uh, <laughs> seasonal affective disorder, well, it remains unknown. You know, we don't really know what causes it, but we have some theories. And we believe, you know, a lack of sunlight during the winter months disturbs your inner clock. And so your inner clock in your brain's like, I don't really know what my sleeping pattern is. I don't know what day and what night is. And it just can cause depressed moods. So less sunlight can drop the happy chemical we call serotonin. And it can drop that chemical in your brain. You get less light. This is causing um, less melatonin in your in your body and in, in, in your system. And so that can really affect your sleep and your mood patterns. That's why a lot of folks will take melatonin to, um, to get more sleep. So sad um, doesn't have anything to do with skin color. A lot of times folks think, well, we got melanin. And so that's what's causing us to, to feel even more sad because we're getting less light. I know y'all are shocked. Me too. I've been doing a lot of research and realized that how much light comes in uh, doesn't, it's not based on your skin because light comes in and is absorbed through your eyes. So there is a correlation there for those, you know, that think because of the color of our skin, because we're darker. Uh, we get less light. That is true because a lot of times folks with dark skin have dark eyes. So listen to this, y'all. The lighter your eyes are, like blue eyes, the more light that gets in. The darker your eyes are, like our brown and our black eyes, the less light gets in and the increase of sad symptoms begin. So a lot of times because we're brown skin, we have 
brown and black eyes. That's what's causing less light and causing an increase of said symptoms. All right, well, how do we combat this? How do we treat this? Vitamin D. Vitamin D is a little teeny pill like this, and you can take it day and night, or you can just take it in a day. I would consult my doctor about how much to take and what type of vitamin D to take. Um, staying active uh, around these winter months. Because we have shorter days, we need to get more sunlight. So in the morning, run outside. I literally do this, y'all. I run out on my deck and I put my face up to the sun and get some sun. They say about 15 to 20 minutes is good. And then, um, you know, go and do that again in the afternoon. This is kind of resetting the clock in your brain to know it's supposed to be daytime. And then when it gets nighttime, it's time to sleep. But get out, be active, take walks, get as much sun exposure um, and less artificial light that you can. Eat healthy. Y'all know what that means. I know what that means, too. <laughs> we got to eat healthy. Green veggies. We got to get that water in us um, because we're made of mostly water. So we got to make sure we're hydrating and stay social. Sad makes us isolate and you don't want to isolate. Light therapy is a is another tool. I brought my my light therapy lamp, so bright, just to show y'all um, that you can sit in front of it. We call it phototherapy for twenty minutes. Actual therapists use this in their office, and so the same time of day is preferable. So get up in the morning and get your phototherapy. And um, this brand, this actually is called the Happy Light by Vera Lux, but you can get so many different lamps. Um, they range from 25 to $50, depends on how much you wanna pay for it. And then psychotherapy like CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy is helpful for sad symptoms. Medications also help because they increase serotonin levels and they decrease the stress hormones like cortisol. So sometimes medication is absolutely necessary to get through these dark winter months. Don't brush it off, y'all. Don't try to tough it out if it seems like it's getting worse after you use your home re remedies. You know, seek professional um, help and go to a therapist just like you would for any other, you know, disorder like anxiety or depression or eating disorder, anything like that. Go seek some help from a professional like me and like my, my colleagues out there doing the doggone thing. Go therapist. You deserve to feel happy and you can get through this. Um, if you have any more questions or concerns, please, please hit me up at drtoyjones at gmail.com or make comments below and I will answer and get back to you. Um, you don't look sad no more. So I'm pretty happy that you were healing from this sad thing. Keep on healing, keep sharing the videos and keep liking the Facebook page, Healing Overflow, if this is helping you. Because if it's helping you to heal. It's helping others around you to heal. Keep on healing, y'all. Bye.